We are up on the Uncompagre Plateau today. Just kind of on a little day trip. We wanted to get out. It's been raining. It was raining in town. We get up here and there's no rain. I mean, it has rained, obviously you can see that, but it's not raining right now. It's really nice. We're probably close to 10,000 feet, maybe a little bit lower here. But uh, the Uncompagre Plateau is a high plateau, kind of right on the border of the state of Utah and Colorado. Um, the plateau runs from west of Grand Junction all the way down to uh, Telluride. So it's a big, big uplift. We call it uh, around here the Uncompagre Plateau, or geologically speaking, it's the Uncompagre Uplift. And we are on top right now. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there's like an old bed frame in here. And there's a sink. I think this is like where like workers would live while they were taking care of cattle or something. I have no idea. Oh look, there's a Bud Light can. Didn't know they had that back then. It's in great condition. Check out the other one. This one has a lot of multiple beds. Multiple beds. There's another sink. Let me back up so I can record the entire small fail. Legs. All right. Okay. I'm scared. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Oh, I think I just pulled something in my head. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now your turn. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> And I did it recording. <laughs> Rock. That's broken now in half. I just need some paper and scissors. <laughs> Muddy. This is what happens 
when I try to get footage of dad driving the Jeep. I get stuck all the way down here and I gotta walk in this crap. It's okay though, sun's out. It was raining a few minutes ago. It's not now. I need to work on my cardio. Yeah. So cool. Did he just hatch? That's a, yeah, he may have just declosed. This is a sheep moth. They're in the family Saturnity. So they're like the big silk moths, like Polyphemus and the Columbia or Glover silk moth. I have just haven't, I know they're up here because this is where I've collected them. Wow, He's... he is awesome. All right, so we found another one. We just found two uh, sheep moths. Sheep moths are day flying moths. Um, they're in the family Saturnity. So they're in that family of big moths, like the big Glover's silk moth or Polyphemus moth. But uh, sheep moths, there's many species in North America. Here in Western Colorado, this is the one species that we have. Um, I haven't come across them for several years just because you have to, you know, be at the right place at the right time. These two look like they've just declosed. So that means they've just hatched out of their cocoon. And so they can't really fly. Like I said, they're day flyers. And you usually think they're butterflies as they fly around in the environment and you're trying to catch, catch them like they're butterflies. These guys, we just got lucky and found them before they could fly. So, pretty awesome catch of the day. So here's number three. We have three silk moths <laughs> that have There's a deer! <laughs> Colorado Army National Guard. I don't know what that's for. Avalanche? 
Maybe they the engineer the engineers of the 947 built. That doesn't look creepy at all. Creepy. Whatever, someone got murdered. It's fine. Look at the fertilizer. Oh, never mind. He was on there the whole time. We were. This might be the same one. These are day flying moths. Shit like that. What are these called? I can't remember off the top of my head. They're a day flyer. So this is Fruita Reservoir number one. Should be three of them. I remember a few years back, my dad and I went to one of them and they were empty. I'm not sure if it was this one. We can't remember if we were here or if we were at one of the other reservoirs, but it was completely dry. Yeah. How long ago do you think that was? We were here probably, you were getting your permit, so it was about five years ago. Yeah, five or six years ago. And it had no water in it at all. This one has some water though. It's nice out, there's tons of butterflies. Yeah. The sun's seen, out. We've seen a snake, a deer, <laughs> chipmunks. More butterflies than I expected. The weather up here is much better than in town, so. Yeah, we <laughs> thought it was gonna rain. Actually got some sunny. So these beetles are blister beetles and they have this chrome looking metallic color to them. So there's a good chance that this ladybug has been impaled. <laughs> like, do you see this? He is still alive, but he's not going anywhere. We might have to save the ladybug today. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that must hurt. Something like being impaled on a thistle thorn. He is totally impaled on there. Do you, th huh? Well, ow! I'm getting impaled. <laughs> I don't want to stick him on there more. He's off of it. <sighs> You're welcome. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. He was just sitting on there. <laughs> oh, there now he he's goes. Gone. Now he's gone. <laughs> Hard to get because <laughs> he's like another sheep moth. They're just <laughs> that easy. Look, this one it looks like it has more pink on its wing than white.
Okay, so we made it back to the Jeep. It's raining and it's really loud. Yeah, we're gonna drive back down that road we came up <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Considering it was already muddy and it's gonna be worse now. So it's gonna be fun though. We're gonna see. It's starting to come down. It came out of nowhere. I saw the dark cloud, but. Hey buddy! <laughs> 